Over the last two days, we've been talking a lot about the Delta and Mikaneko situation, which could potentially end in a huge legal battle between the two. At the time, we only had Delta's side of the story, with her claiming to have been slandered with Mikaneko refusing to provide any evidence. However, Mikaneko went live through a member-only Twitcast the other night to share her side of the story, and has given overseas fans permission to share what happened, since many overseas people have been harassing her due to this situation. Now, this Reddit post that does summarize and go over the entire situation does state that Mikaneko said she's still preparing an official response to all of this, but for now, this is all that we have. Once she does upload that, I'll make sure to inform you all of the situation. The Reddit post starts off stating that around a year ago, while Mikaneko was still inside of Hololive, she was contacted by known drama tuber Narukami. At that time, Hololive had a policy stating that they were to report these types of interactions to management, so she recorded the conversation and did just that. In the audio, Narukami asked Mike about two different rumors, one that involved her character at the time changing hair color without permission, and the other about a manager spreading rumors about her going to host clubs. She declined both of those rumors. Curious, Mike questioned where he heard this from, and he replied with Delta. Mike Neko stated that the company did take care of the hair rumors, and her manager at the time defended her from slander while inside of the company. The post continued with, quote, Mike Neko has Narukami and other drama tubers blocked on Twitter. However, Delta is still in contact with Narukami. Then it states that Delta offered Mike Neko to contact Narukami and Kore Kore since Delta has apparently spoken with both before. Delta then sent a message to Narukami asking if he had mentioned her name, in which he stated he does not mention the names of informants, and that he has heard this information at a bar. Delta sent that information right over to Mike Neko, and also mentioned hearing the rumor from a manager about one of the girls in the company going to host clubs, but it was never specified who. The post ends stating that Delta admitted to Mike Neko inside of DMs and her fan box that Delta may not seem trustworthy since she has previously spread rumors about Niji Sanji talent, but believes Mike should trust her anyway. Going on to say, quote, however, Mike Neko does not have enough trust in her to give her the video evidence. It's seems likely based on wording that the video is of a separate, still undisclosed case of slander, but this is unclear. Upon all of these discussions, they both knew the DMs were going absolutely nowhere, and so Mike informed Delo to speak with her lawyer directly, instead of with her personally, and she would be blocking Delo Taya for her own mental health. Upon that, Delo sent a very long message to Mike, but Mike ended up blocking her, and that prompted the fan box post from a few days ago that we all saw. Again, with this whole situation, Mike Neko wants this to be spread to many overseas viewers so that they could help lessen the the attack she is receiving. She also stated she is going to continue to work with her lawyer to clarify any more that is needed and release an official statement. She wants a peaceful resolution to this situation. I really hope that this whole thing doesn't end in a long legal battle between the two of them and that they can find some middle ground to end this peacefully. I personally do not believe that either of their reputations are going to be hurt from this if they decide to find that middle ground, but I guess you can never be 100% certain on that. All I ask is that all of you do not harass any of the talents and keep speculation to a minimum. Other than that you're free to discuss down below and have yourself a good night. Bye bye!